I want to push back on the costume a little bit because it's an interesting phenomenon. I was stunned by it as well. <laughs> but it turns out that if you're a far left radical built with the belief that this country is irredeemably stained, you just want to break it apart. Just mm. bust America, yeah. crack it to its base, break it asunder and rebuild it with your toxic ideology. That's what he stands for. Mm. When he dresses like that, it's not an accident. He's kicking authority in the balls. Yeah. He said, hey, I'm the man. I'm gonna, I'll show those guys who's, who's boss. So that is Dr. Oz, in his view, attacking Fetterman. It might only be in his view though, because he just described to America that Fetterman is the one who will look authority in the eyes and then kick it in the balls. Tear down that authority, tear down that status quo and remake it. And that was an attack against Fetterman somehow. Cenk, the first time I heard this video, I thought, I feel like you're gonna have thoughts about this. Oh, for sure. All right, so first of all, thank you. We, Dr. Oz, <laughs> from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate it. I mean, it doesn't get a better campaign slogan than John Fetterman. He kicks authority in the balls, okay? <laughs> I'd run ads with it, I swear to God I would, okay? So. God bless. Now, and by the way, Dr. Oz, it turns out that the voters like that a little bit better than what you're trying, which is cupping them. Oh and my God. Not as popular. Not it turns out holding them not as popular as kicking them. Okay. So now he's not wrong about the costumes. Let's note for the record that we all wear costumes. Okay. This is a costume. I don't wear this at home. Okay. I sleep in this. <laughs> okay, John, maybe. <laughs> Some of your outfits I do think you sleep in. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Okay, and so Fetterman is sending a message. He's sending a message. I'm a regular person. Dr. Oz is also sending a message. Oh, I'm sophisticated. I eat crudite. I have very nice suits. They're all <laughs> worth five thousand dollars a piece at least. Okay, <laughs> and so and he's sending a message. This is the message. Okay, mm -hmm. and so he doesn't want to upset authority. But another part of his costume tells you something else too. When he puts on the red hat for for MAGA for Donald Trump, he's saying for Donald Trump, right? So. Um, the cup in front of you. Uh, anyway. Don't so. ruin that movie for me now. It just hit its big anniversary anyway. So, so which uh, costume in Dr. Oz's lingo do you think that the voters of Pennsylvania or really any state are going to prefer? They're going to prefer the regular guy who kicks authority in the balls. But Dr. Oz is part of the establishment, so he. Doesn't understand that at all. That's why he says, like, oh, the price of crudite, I do declare, right? And he's like, oh my God, people in authority should be respected and <laughs> cupped. Kicked, I dare. Oh, okay. say this guy is quite the rascal, right? <laughs> and by the way, if there wasn't social media, etc., and then we weren't in this day and age, almost all the mainstream media would actually agree with us, not oh, better. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, they'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing to authority? Because mainstream media is authority. That's that's why they have the same costume as Dr. Oz. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna take your metaphor and I'm gonna shift it away from the groin mm -hmm. and say that Fetterman thinks boots are for kicking and Oz thinks boots are for licking. How about that? Oh, look at that! Put that on a hoodie. The only way that works better is if it's in Texas. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, look, Oz just isn't good at this stuff. Like you're not supposed to say he wants to tear down the status quo. That's what Trump says about himself. You're supposed to say he wants to tear down the nuclear family or something. He wants to tear down traditional masculinity or some other vague BS like that. You're not supposed to say he wants to take down those who everybody knows they have their foot on your neck. That makes him seem like a champion. And by the way, we, we haven't actually shown you. Here's a picture of the uniform, the costume or whatever that Oz finds so unacceptable, it's what normal people wear. <laughs> and by the way, if you're thinking it won't take long for a campaign as savvy online as Fetterman's to use this, that happened hours ago. Fetterman already tweeted out DC could use a kick in the balls with his new Fetterman kicking authority in the balls thing. Great job by Parker Molloy making that. It's probably gonna be on a hoodie soon would be my guess. Yeah, look, by the way, I hope Fetterman actually does do that. Somebody asked, one of our members asked the other day, and I love doing the show with you guys, tyt.com slash join to become a member. Um, and they said, are you sure Fetterman's not gonna go and, I mean, may, that maybe it is a costume. That may he's gonna go in the Senate and then agree with everything Schumer says. No, I got news for you guys, I'm not sure. Yeah. Right, I'm really not sure. So he seems to be the most aggressive, the most populist, and among the most progressive, 
that are running for the Senate. So I'll take it, I'll, a billion times I'll take it, right? But no, I'm not sure. A lot of politicians are fakes and phonies. So he, and, and remember, the Democratic Party has tons and tons of money. And so Fetterman was not guns blazing against the Democratic Party in the primaries at all. And he's the Lieutenant Governor of Pennsylvania. He might just turn around and whether he's wearing a suit or a sweatshirt, he might go, yes, Schumer, yeah, of course, sir. We should approve mm -hmm. the pipeline, sir, of course, sir. So we don't, that jury's out. Yeah. But the jury's in on Dr. Oz. Okay, uh, okay, boots. but okay, so boots. look, uh, and he has no idea how to campaign either. That's why it's hilarious. He's like mm -hmm. the Mr. Magoo of rich people <laughs> campaigning, right? He's like, uh, yeah, I, uh, Fetterman is, uh, he's awake and you should be asleep. No, no, Dr. Oz is woke, not awake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, he doesn't even eat charcuterie. I could go for a charcuterie right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, I, I agree with you, uh, and, and that's why I also caution people against building up candidates, especially like like Fetterman's really good with the online stuff, which is great, and you want to see it. That is not the same thing as legislation. Let's just be clear about that. Hopefully, it'll be great. We'll be covering him, um, but as of right now, it is looking. We'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like we might have the chance to do that evaluation because. Uh, the poll just yesterday showed him leading 51-41 over Oz. Uh, that's amongst registered voters. Again, it ain't over till it's over and polls, they're interesting, but they don't mean anything if you go on to lose. Uh, but as of right now, he's doing pretty well, probably because Dr. Oz keeps just embarrassing himself every single day. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.